All right, I'm Mark Bell. We're here at Super Training Gym, the strongest gym in the West. And we got the bicep board today. And the reason why we got the bicep board is because I got my boy, Mike Frank, here in the house. And uh, Mike's gonna take me through a bicep tricep workout with this. And then I'm gonna take him through our warehouse to give him some inspiration because he hasn't quite sold these just yet. They're coming out super soon, but I wanna get him fired up and get him inspired to launch this thing just like we launched the slingshot. What, what do we have here? This here is the uh, bicep board. This is the original bicep board. It's, it's the bicep peak, one of the most difficult muscles to build. Um, and so with Mark using Woo! it, so like a, a waiter curl, server's curl, keeping those wrists, bringing it in, and hitting those bicep crusher. peaks. That is an absolute crusher. That's awesome. And that's 35 pounds, and you probably curl, you know, 50s. Yeah, you're throwing like 40 or 50 in each arm, and it's just 35. 35 pounds. <laughs> I like it a lot. We're gonna, he and I are gonna do a just a whole a whole workout with it. Um, is that one you can use for triceps too, or is it the yes. special? Yeah. Okay. You can. Um, we're we gonna do some biceps, one. and we'll, when we finish biceps, we'll move on over into some triceps. This, you know, when you're training biceps, it's always hard to that peak. to squeeze that top portion. It's like the weights tend to like let off as you come up and unless you're like skilled or know how to like curl you're some sort of professional curler and then when you go to here it's like what do I do do I bring my elbow up if I bring my elbow up then like gravity is just no longer involved with this anymore you know you could do this with like whatever amount of weight you could hold and it's not doing really much from a tension perspective on the arm but what Mike has here is it's kind of taking you here more. You're finishing here more, and it's there's a lot of tension on the arm right there. So when I'm here, my bicep is flexed a little bit, but it's not like flexed and squeezed. The big difference. So if I'm just like this when I'm using that uh, tray there. Yeah, I think it, it takes some of the guesswork out. When I think of things in the gym that are kind of uh, idiot proof, there's not enough things in the gym that are, that are uh, idiot proof. We need, we need more, and this one I think is. So it's a thumbless grip, and you get the wrist down as you go to pull the weight towards you. I've torn these things a bunch of times too, so it's always tough for me to figure out how to work my biceps. takes the form out of it. Puts a lot of the focus. 40 pound, 40 pound dumbbell curl for both arms. And look at the biceps are blown out. Ah, oh, they're killing me. It's like hard to straighten them right now. You got a winner on your hands there. I think it's great. Thank you. It's like pumping air into your arm. It's <laughs> that peak of that bicep pretty pretty good. Underneath it, it's got like a little groove in there. Some texture, we have a little bit of texture. That you can kind of get your fingers into. Thank you. Yeah, right here, you see them? See where my fingers are? There's kind of a groove there. Check myself out here in there. Holy crap. Wow. Even just trying to hold it after a while, this yeah. feels brutal. Woo! As far as the, you know, with, with, with the barbell and the wrist and the issues yeah. with this, keeping it, you can use lighter weight, take the take the flex yeah. off and all the pressure off the form. Yeah, you just have it just sitting there like that? Yeah. When you're watching this, you know, you're watching this video, you might think that I'm not getting my biceps like all the way, you know, straight or extended, but it doesn't feel that way. It feels like they're getting extended. <laughs> oh, 
Woo! Awesome. It's not bad. It's confusing. Like it's confused me a little bit just because I've never seen anything like it. So and uh, my my mind is going a little crazy. You can feel the functionality oh, of it yeah. on the bicep, hitting the peak, hitting that middle part of that oh, bicep. It's crushing. It's crushing it. So it's awesome. It, it, basically, what I think what Mike did, Mike and his partner here with this product, is they think they have kind of captured free weight and machine combination. That's kind of what it feels like to me. You guys know how good a machine feels. The machine's great because you're locked in. You can kind of figure out how to get the pump. But there's something a little bit off about machines because they're not free weights. Right. I think this is bringing the two together. It's really cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Cool concept. Oh, thank you. Woo! I got a little and to flex them up. Man, good. Oh. Be really uh, good for me to practice with that for a while because it's hard for me to build a good peak because I've torn both my biceps. So my biceps are just my arms are just kind of chunky. They don't really, they're not super, I have I have some good veins in them and stuff, but they're not super defined, so that would be a great testimonial for the product. Put it in, let it seat in the bevel, and then we could throw some uh, weight on the... Yeah, hard to tell what we need. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of people that have like wrist issues and stuff too, so I think that... This would allow people that you know, sometimes have their wrists their wrist screwed through. up, uh, you know. Oh yeah. The, the fun thing about putting out a product is is the public will tell you what the thing does, you know. Yeah. People are going to say, hey, I've been doing this with it. And you're going to be like, huh? So we were putting our fingers to the side and bringing yeah. it in for the, for the back. And then with the tricep part, you can kind of get your hands in and turn your hands out. And you can get heavier or just the standard. Yeah. It's got to stay in the little seat slot. I see. Yeah, otherwise it would kind of fall out. Yeah. Oh, wow. It just feels so different. You know, just having your... A little stabilization yeah, going on. Yeah, having your fingers yeah. dispersed over this piece. It's just so different. <clears throat> Those triceps squeeze. Yeah, and this, you know, keeping your elbows in tight. You can kind of push against yeah. it too rather than you can just adjust exactly. It's nice. It's nice to have stuff that you don't always need to um, use your um, your grip with. You know, there needs to be more stuff in the gym that you don't have to use yeah, your grip. It's awesome. Yeah. 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 So we finished up, uh, we, we did some training earlier, we worked on some bench, I showed Mike uh, the ropes on, on how, to, how to bench a little bit better, and then Mike uh, was, uh, was great with showing me his new product. This is a great invention, this is the bicep board, uh, highly recommend it. It, it. At first, it took me a second to kind of get used to it, because you know I thought I'd be able to kind of straighten my arms out a little bit more, but your arms end up kind of staying here and it just keeps constant tension on the biceps and uh i don't know i really liked it what what inspired you to uh to make this thing for me personally it was the, the lack of biceps and the lack of the peak and trying to get that constant tension on that peak and my partner pete and i we were working in the garage working out and we saw the waiter curl and we were like well, there's got to be a way, better way mm -hmm. to, to do that because we used to do it with a dumbbell right with just one dumbbell and then we're like well, our hands are too far in so let's Create something that we can go a little bit wider, a little bit better range of motion, keeping that constant tension on that bicep. And so we started working on it. And after about six months to a year, we came out with the bicep board. And this is, um, we're hoping again to follow in the slingshot's footsteps. So. Yeah, it's fantastic. I really liked it a lot and uh, does exactly what he talked about. It emphasizes the peak uh, to the bicep. So this is the bicep board. Strength is never a weakness, weakness is never a strength. Catch y'all later.